What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode we are driving through uh, the southern US towards Louisiana. And we have one of their forces that has, have advanced out to try and engage us. Actually no, sorry. We are pressuring them from Florida heading towards the west. That's why they are dug in and defensive. But we have plenty of artillery. So we will be able to sweep in and destroy them. There is a force to the south that's currently... Uh, in one of their ports, we will also turf them out and keep the pressure up towards Louisiana and add their uh, trade goods into our empire. Then we can start to look uh, northward towards the Cherokee. So we could push west and take the Pueblo Nations, but the Pueblo Nations will fall after um, our army in uh, our army in South America just pushes up through the the. Uh, through Central America. So, deploy my guns. They're going to bombard the bejesus out of the enemy while my line advances. I'm going to put my mercenaries on the right flank. Put my Islamic swordsmen together on one flank. My Hindu warriors on the right. My Islamic swordsmen on the left flank. Hindu warriors on the right flank. Combination of cavalry on the right, Sipahi on the left, General in the centre. So let's begin. Begin to advance. Come on, you guys can try charge my my. Uh, infantry if you like they've got friends to support them so my artillery can engage whomever they why who they wish let's try to get my i suppose i want to put my my infantry down here my sapahi can go high as long as they go to the outside of this feature so my great gun bombard the tent the rest of my infantry is just really just you can largely hit who you like. Hello. So run my line infantry up. Run my melee infantry up, run my camels up. So my my, my mercenaries are able to get into a position to engage the line infantry. Native lancers charge the light cavalry. Have the camel mercenaries back them up. So now battle has been joined. My line has to advance. I might try to take advantage actually of this slight gap in the enemy's lines and push my Hindu musketeers up ahead of them. Hindu warriors push in to engage. Enemy bowmen ahead of us, but that shouldn't be a problem. Pivot. Keep my general in the centre. Okay, so my lancers push on. Oh, my camels are going on into the native bowmen auxiliary. My lancers keep fighting the colonial light horse. There's a large enemy force in the centre that looks like they want to get into fisticuffs. My Sapahi up here quick. Retarget the guns to focus on the right on this flank. Great guns engage the original foot. There you go, this unit push up. Hindu musketeers attack the unit of colonial line. You guys advance. Continue the attack on into the flank. You men are going to do a number on those fellas. Get my native lancers against the native bone auxiliary. Hindu warriors. I mean, they're going to be really tired, but just keep on running. You men fully commit to the fight as well. Because Obashi musketeers aren't exactly the best. 
bring out my Hindu. I'll bring out my Islamic swordsman because they're going to be brutal. Oh, you sneaky defensive line here. Gunners cease fire. So there's the enemy general. He should be. Yeah, my infantry are engaging them, firing at will. Oh, my gun is engaged. The Royal Escocia range. You men deploy square. You men push up closer. There we go. Killed the enemy general. Islamic swordsmen can drive through the front. My Spahi just go after the regiment of colonial militia. Where's my lances? You can get after some of these colonial infantry. All my guns engage the 13th. So you men form up. You men get out of square and form up. Oh, go on, then you attack the 7th. You men charge into the back of the 7th Regiment of Foot, 7th Regiment of Militia. But we do want you to focus on Foot Infantry Units first. Keep on attacking. You men cease fire. So now my Islamic Swordsmen are going to cut through the 10th Regiment, they don't even have bayonets. See, melee troops are not dead in the gunpowder age. They just get shot at a lot. You men charge, you men charge. You guys have the general chasing after you to the rear. Come on, why's my sound? Funky. Yeah, Dark Mod sounds being awkward. That's why we've got vanilla um, sounds at the moment. There we go. I think they're coming back. Look at these melee troops going to cut open. The 14th Regiment, brave Hindu warriors. Again, they do not have muskets. They do not have bayonets, sorry, so... Ceasefire the artillery. Let these guys run, because they're going to run right into... our troops. You pursue, you pursue... Okay, so that is going to be it, but we are going to speed up time a little bit, because I've got a few more fellas I want to kill. You can come down here and chase the Royal Escasse. You can come over here and chase down the Royal Escasse. Rip them all down. Which it looks like that's what we're doing. Camels break off. Get the 14th Regiment of Foot Colonial Line. Nice. So that is the Northern Army. Northern Louisiana, well, force. Just gutted. Back you go. And you chaps replenish. Drive forward. Ah, okay, that's Cherokee territory, so push in. And this force attack. Oh, that might just be an auto resolve, to be honest. They're already quite badly depleted. Chomp. We lost more men in that than we would like to have done, but. It's not bad. Good, you men both replenish. So we can break the major fishery, because that's not what we want. We want trade goods to be flowing from this region, so a trade port we shall have. Of sugar and cotton to add to our export empire. It's up to 26,000. Ooh, Rio de la Hacha. Push you guys up. 
you're getting slash have the new roads. Good stuff. Okay, you guys are usable. Well, actually, will Martinique allow us to leave? Yes, they will. So move a sloop out so we can embark them. So, hmm. you all land at St. Augustine. We may end up sending well, a few armies, uh, maybe three armies north is probably enough. Four might be a bit superfluous. We might actually continue driving west into Texas and then threaten Mexico City from the north as well as from the south. Okay, that seems good. Let's get this sloop over to Pensacola, although they will likely die. You're still converting Port Royals, mostly Islamic. Cuba is becoming mostly Islamic. And we will now tax you. 78,000. A good amount, but we are still... Gotta remember... We are building up our army significantly. Good, so that's your production. You're coming down here. You... You're going over to Calcutta, as are you. Okay, much to in turn just to see how things develop. But I think, largely... You've got everything in this area that we need, except for these farms in Kashmir. Okay. Largely, I think we're doing okay. Here goes your recruitment. Okay, you've got your army. So again, these troops are chiefly charged with bolstering my future fronts against the Dutch. And your job is to... <laughs> Interesting. You can get you can actually cover that bridge off the get from the get go. Excellent. Got a ship free, which I will use to transfer my bestia force without having to use my battle fleet. You men embark. Can you get up to there in time? Oh, it's thinking about it. It's chugging. Okay, it's landing my men there. Okay. So my fleet can just raid. See, you guys aren't moving up because you can't move and you've got one unit of wild deck infantry to deal with behind the lines. You guys are going to stick together in case they decide to drive west to kill you both. We can hold. We can cover these two bridges, push up towards Paris. I think that would be a good idea. Not making any headway, headway in converting them, but at least... Well, there's not a lot we can really do about that, actually. Anyway. So 1,300 left. Uh, you've gone on to diamond formation. Bit of a bummer, but you may as well go for it. Then go on to... Well, machine rifling isn't useful. Well, we're getting, to, to be honest, we're getting towards the end game as far as research goes. There's only so long you can worry about optimizing it. As my agents push forward to spread the word of our Lord. Everyone's Lord and Savior soon. Yes, they are responding. They are responding to our, to our pressure. 
Well, partially responding, but an army's an army. That's the Russians. Currently have no issues with you, Russia. Well, Louisiana's going to kill our sloop. Maybe they aren't. Well, that's an auto-resolve. Hiya! As is that. How about you? This not so much. <laughs> Uh, yes, it will do. We'll, we'll definitely fight that. There's a bunch of infantry. We can take that out. No worries. Got plenty of artillery. And we should be able to... Well, we, it depends how much we're going to... Uh, we're going to surround and engulf and so on. But I think, largely, we will just be able to smash this army back to the capital and keep on driving. We might even patriot this mother. They pushed and attacked us. So we will wait. We will allow them to come to us. In whatever wank, whatever blank they are weak. Uh, they... <laughs> that was a massive slip up there. Whatever flank they are weak, uh, we will... advance. So... Yeah, I haven't deployed the great guns. We are going to... Hindu warriors on the left. Slamming swordsmen on the right. Infantry uh, on the line. Great guns. Just stay at the back. Keep my general a bit more wide. Lots of my guns just blasting with shrapnel shot. Oh, excellent shot, sir. Hey, great guns can fire shrapnel shot. That's pretty cool. You just... <laughs> you did okay, actually. Colonial Light Horse awesome. Broken and they're fleeing. Drive into the light cavalry. Keep blasting them with trap and shot. Good shots. Oh, see, they're just wrecking the enemy. Just storm in to the enemy front here. You're going to switch to canister shot. You're going to limber up. We are going to want to start pushing the flank very aggressively. This may or may not go how we want it to go. Camel unit go out here. I mean, the flank's collapsing. Hindu warriors will not last forever. guns limit up. This flank is probably going to be sort of largely sacrificed until we start driving away. Excellent shrapnel shot here. Just going straight through the core of enemy infantry here. You men form square. A bit late.
you go. If you drive. Again, I'm, I'm really not monitoring what my cavalry and so on are doing. Oh, my, they caught my gunners. It's awfully mean of them. You men engage. Free fire, whatever. Oh, they killed one of my gunners. Mercenaries may also be going for a duck. Bring up my elephants. Redirect my Sipahi. Actually, no, you guys can come over here and help fight the enemy. This elephant unit can go over here and smash the infantry. Yes, you can charge your cavalry and try and stop me, but not before I destroy you. And then come the elephants. It may cost my general his life, but it will cost them many more men. There they go, they've broken. Some of those units may come back, so... matter when the enemy is just completely broken. Aha! Yeah, let's just end it there. We need we need to recover. We need to recover our fighting capabilities. We killed 3,181 men of theirs. That's pretty good going. Could potentially fight that. It's against Theodore, but we're going to pull back. No peace. There will never be peace for you, Louisiana. We're going to take your territories and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there goes our sloop. Bye-bye. Uh, no peace for you, New Spain, either. We want your territories. We will take them. So goes the Greek Navy. More Quebec Army units. Interesting choice. So you've gone straight on short shortened carbines and... I'm just going to leave you leave you alone, to be honest. We're at that point where it doesn't really start to matter. Okay, so we can get this sloop over to here. Upgrade this port to commercial basin. You can't recruit cannons, can you? No, because I got rid of that. Push up another army in support. I can recruit guns in Cuba, which we'll transport up. Let's upgrade Pensacola to be a trading port. Upgrade the governor's buildings to a Flacco's mansion. Cotton warehouse. Upgrade, upgrade the new roads, upgrade the farms. So you are replenishing. You're in a good position to pressure the enemy, but you can't necessarily take the fight to them. Fleet destroyed, that's our sloop. We have yet another army. So... You may attack Newfoundland. They may take Agvitook away from the Inuit nations. Yeah, and that's just going to be a chop. We build Newfoundland, let's build a madrasa. Build new roads, oh, more goods. 
a trapper post. Let's get port rebuilt. Nice. Get the army replenished. So now we're only, to be honest, we're in a station now. We can start sending completed armies to Europe rather than rather than to America. Yeah, that's quite a nice uh, fleet component there. Well, a good selection of trade ships. A good fleet ready. But I don't... There isn't really anywhere we can take advantage of. Because you're Genoa? Portugal. And you're the same. You're all covered up. And the East Indies is also all covered up. But as soon as war kicks off, we'll be ready. Glacier State Commercial Basin. Let's just go around upgrading everything we can. No Andalusia we've done. Brothel in Tripoli. Small Madras and Andorra. So, you need to see if you can flee to one of these bridges to the north. And then you... Well, you you push, continue pushing towards Amsterdam. There we go. Bankruptcy, eh? Interesting. Let's begin to apply our pressure. And you try to go up through the center of the country. So this should trigger a response. Let's upgrade some of these ports. And then you... I mean, you're not an ideal army, because you, you have very limited ability to withstand square formations, for example. No, you still can't leave. It shouldn't rebel in 110. Islam is rising though across the board. But it's very interesting they're starting to suffer from bankruptcy. Granted, not as much as they used to, but we are now choking off their supplies. That means these guys should start to become quite badly attrited, which is ideal. Path blocked. Oh, it's here. Region captured. Newfoundland. Yep. I mean, it is unfortunate that we don't have any infantry that can form square. That's that's that is very unfortunate. Or good melee infantry, actually. To be honest, I don't really want you at all. Should have checked. They wouldn't ruin my public order. I think the Tangier comes the place to. Oh no, Tangier can't recruit Israeli. Is it really just going to be Egypt then? Is the is the closest point that I can recruit proper? The nearest in theatre place where I can recruit. Somewhat. Oh, my audio is gone. Uh, options, sound. Hmm. Well, this is the thing with it, with a Darth mod for me. At least it seems to be quite, uh, quite unpredictable. So we keep on spending. Can Jerusalem recruit good stuff? Jerusalem can, so Jerusalem is going to be another... I mean, that's really quite off-putting now. That we don't have any sound. Well, that's all I can do there. So let's just keep on spending. So get a Zemondari Horseman. 
Four units of artillery plus Kizilbashi unit. Damascus is probably similar. It is. Let's get to Philaine. Cool. Okay, let's hit in turn. Let's try and see if we can. So that's really quite bizarre. Hmm. <laughs> so this is yeah. This goes to show the sound stuff. I turn off the sound effect and turn it back on again, and it's the music that's gone. Even though that's on a separate control. So let's see if the Dutch do... Yeah, they're responding. They are responding. They do not... They do not want... Okay, right. Do you want to intercept them? Absolutely, we do but what i'm gonna do is save the game not because i'm particularly scared but because um i want to load the game up again to see if my music works so see you in a second so in the end i had to restart my game <laughs> uh no no worries so let's take the enemy uh ultimately we see a lot of their force is this force is depleted which is useful but uh Let's take this opportunity to try and destroy a Dutch army. And it is interesting that my push onto France has spurred them into action. That is, I think that is quite interesting. And ultimately, even if they push through Italy and they take the Italian peninsula, I don't think, first of all, I don't think they will. Even if they did, I don't think we will, uh, I don't think we will really I think that's a bad trade we could land in Italy we can hold Italy at, at, th at th threat from our territories in the Middle East we can keep landing armies there to prevent them from having an easy hold but they will not so easily be able to recover from the loss of Paris so let's Let's defend. I think this gun team that's not deployed probably wants to trundle up a little bit. Seek Musketeer contingent on the right flank. We haven't seen them for a while. Another infantry force to secure the left. My actually my pikes and my native troops can hold the center. Seek musketeers can see warriors can support the seek musketeers. Camel nomads hold together. Sipahi hold together. So this line wants to advance onto the top of the hill. So then you men can spread out. Camels push out to the flank. Can you fire oh you can't you can't fire shrapnel shot. Guns. So we need to up armor. We need to increase your firepower. Aim at the light horse. I'm not so bothered about their horse artillery. We're bothered about their cavalry. Their cavalry is what does is what can do damage to us. I oh, know you're not even unlimbered, are you? Okay, shrapnel shot. That's changed the calculus somewhat. Shrapnel shot is a no no. So this cavalry on the right is provincial cavalry and light horse. So camels do like that. So then um, 
Yeah, I'm not super fan of Kizilbashi pushing the left, but they've got melee troops to support them. Plus Sipahi. Yeah, we want to put the enemy under pressure, which they most assuredly will be under pressure. Not a problem. So my that might be a problem. The sea warriors will do a real number on this enemy cavalry. This cavalry is a bit more complicated. It's Hindu musketeers form square. Keep up, get our artillery firing back at their horse artillery. So you're going to chew up the Swiss grenadiers. Let's push my. Actually, push my seat warriors into the enemy force. The Grenadiers should be what's wavering here. General's bodyguard is also very upset. Sipahi, get them involved. Melee troops, push up. So a lot of enemy squares. You guys should be able to gun down these Dragoons that have decided to, dis to dismount. Care if we don't pursue too hard. Seek musketeers, fill in the gap. Seek infantry, advance. You men unlimber. Well, not, not unlimber. Get out of square. Not far off of getting the surround. Oh, you're going to try and chew up the. Two man, my gunners are still engaging the enemy. Artillery, you guys are limber. Still hear the little rifle fire from potential foes. My camels charge straight onto the grenadiers. You men, the gunners are gone. You men are going to mass charge the regiment of Swiss Grenadiers. How about you? Ooh, a bit of friendly fire there. Knocked out some my Spahi with, a, with an errant cannonball. There's hidden rangers in the in the in there somewhere. Oh, there they are. Swiss Mountain Jäger. The morale effect they're having is quite significant. Kill the last of the Dragoons. And the Islamic Swordsmen are going to cut the mercenaries open. Engage the enemy line with my artillery. But largely, looks like the enemy is not long for this world. You charge in the back of them, you go charge in the back of the infantry enemy here. 
have a jewel. We're going to kill the Jaegers if they try and retreat through us anyway. They're, they're trying to defend in all directions. Cease fire the guns. Okay, you're gonna hold. So we are gonna continue. You guys are going to cease fire. So my Spahi go uh, come over here where they don't hit the stakes. Swing around, hit the grenadiers. Excellent. So that's going to be that's a unit of Swiss grenadiers dealt with. They are going to flee. You can try and have a go at them, but they may es they will likely escape. Set my camels to go against the line infantry. Kill as many Swiss line as you can. My camels kill as many of these fellas as they can. You might yeah, you should be able to do it actually. You guys may struggle. Although they all stopped for you, look at that. Or well, at least most of them have. Now you might get them all. Nice. Close victory. It wasn't close, it was a bit weird, I grant you, but uh, a weird win is a win nonetheless. 24,000 men I could put into that fight. Ooh. Opportunity to intercept? Yes, please. Horse artillery. Oh, okay, my, my artillery needs to focus on the um, counter battery fire, fundamentally. We're going to be needing to. Well, because the thing is, they, they can fire fancy shot and they can fire quick climb and they can do other scary things. So my guns are going to be focusing on taking out their guns and only then turning their muzzles onto the enemy. So... You guys can cover the bridge. At least maybe three batteries. Three batteries can focus on the enemy. Over here in the ford... Everyone's going to be running in to deploy. My cavalry going to stay in the middle in case we get surprised. Which it looks like we aren't. This gun trundle up over here onto the high ground. Yeah, my guns are engaging their guns. Artillery is a priority. Pierre are coming up first, so let's make it so that my Israeli are in the hot seat. Bring a native lance unit back. Okay, so they are 
engaging us with skirmish fire, and that is their prerogative. Another broadside from my guns. We haven't really achieved anything. Makes your African infantry can deploy stakes. That's pretty neat. That's right, load and fire again. You want to go for the howitzers, just in case they start firing quicklime. Let's probably bring my general over here as well. Okay, no, don't deploy in square, because they're going to dismount. It's not a bad idea, because now we've fired our shots. drop into squares all the same because you've got light dragoons coming in get my camel mercenaries over here my horsemen can get over here too chairman's bodyguard get over here because they may attempt to break through So if I do get you guys out of square, do they take the bait and run around? Camel mercenaries also get involved. We need you guys firing at the center. How do you guys how are you guys getting on? How it's a battery is moving. So one good hit will knock them out for good. Make enemy cavalry's been hit by elephants and camels. Form square. They seem paralyzed by the effort. go form the line again okay, it looks like they knocked out the howitzer so you guys all begin focusing on the third artillery third regiment of artillery again you guys may actually just get a get here and just start lobbing shells into the center Get behind the lines. So this is the, uh, the Dutch, the first Dutch crossing. Make ready and fire. Got the arrows flying in. Kind of why I deployed them there. Use them a fire at point blank range. Drop into square because the 9th Regiment of Dragoons are coming through. Oh, our new men should be a member on the enemy. Swing in my camels. So this concentration here that tried to push us. We've got them in the flank. You might have to break to hit them as well. 
to hit the Marines. Skirmish cavalry. Just keep skirmishing. Yeah, they they they're holding off. They're holding us off. To wonder actually, they may break through the line. So my gunners keep dropping shots here. Successful cavalry charge. Although that's against the light dragoons that are dismounted. Interesting, they may break through here. In which case, then we will hold off for as long as we can. Keep charging in. Because enemy Swiss infantry are actually pretty good in the melee. My general may well fall. Keep hitting the units that are wavering. Focus on the units that are wavering with my elephants. You might be able to set up here. You play stakes. You just pour fire into those engineers. Defeated. So you're putting fire into those engineers. Excellent. My general has fallen. But we are starting to make headway. Twelve pounders engage their gun. That one gun could do damage in these sorts of combat. Chimi fire into the back of the Netherlands Marina Corps. It's a turn fire into the back of that combat because that combat is entirely NATO, entirely uh, Dutch troops exposed to us there although you appear to not want to fire because you've got I don't know, something wrong send my lancers in Ultimately, if I am going to break, I want to wait until this infantry is here. At least we can then build them into a defensive line here. But my lances appear to have done the trick. As well as the musket fire. General's bodyguard, go for the remaining marines. Here's my skirmish cavalry. Engineers are coming back. You men face off against the engineers. It's the elephants, man. They're doing good. And the lances help broke, help break the enemy.
I should bring my Sipahi over here, really. Seems a bit silly to not involve my armoured cavalry in this engagement. My native African infantry are holding off the enemy along with concentrated artillery fire. My horsemen. Abandon the combat. Try mop up some of these routing units. Foot guard unit that would be useful to kill. No, you were gonna, you were gonna knock them out. You were free. It's the general's bodyguard that's drawn you in. Very well. Attack and kill the general's bodyguard. He will go for the Marines, on the other hand. If they can. There we go, there goes the enemy engineers. This is a lot more of a brawl than I thought. It was very close to the line. enemy unit broke they escaped the enemy generals fallen damn right you want to continue we need to take advantage of this as much as we can especially considering we took quite a hammering <laughs> You go for the foot artillery, you guys go for the marines, you guys going for the engineers. Nice. So yeah, okay, we may have to adapt our tactics when holding rivers, because we can't rely on massed firepower. I mean, I should have, well, it means I definitely need to have my guns deployed. I need to have my guns deployed out of the river to have any chance. Yeah, I mean, it's a good reasonable exchange ratio. Question is, though, we need to get squared away before they send up more troops. Uh, no, I'm not going to fight you. Ooh, do I want to intercept you? I definitely do, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time while we withstand this Dutch assault. And actually, Venice is looking exposed now. Or well, there's a stack here and there's another stack behind this army, so maybe maybe it isn't so exposed. But, yeah, look at the timer. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the destruction of some more Dutch dogs. Cheers, everyone.